Um, okay, so I'm here in the Marina Owners Club stand with Tony Page, who has this fabulous uh, Marina 700 weight van. Yes, Mark 1. 1974. That's correct. Okay. So you Mark 1. How rare is it? Are there many left? Not many, I believe. I, I do have a few myself, but there's not many left. They was all destroyed in the day, those, those workhorses, wasn't they? Workhorses, exactly what they were. So, um, how many have you got? Uh, probably a dozen. Probably a dozen? Yes. But you're not sure? <laughs> no, no. Okay. And why have you got a dozen marine vans? Um, misspelt youth, really. Uh, I had them as a, on the farms growing up. That was a workhorse then. In later life, you go back to what you used to have, don't you? So, marina vans was part of what I tried to collect. Um, my ambition was to have 12 fully restored like this in a line, but I didn't quite reach my ambition. Okay, but you have got 12, just not restored? Uh, yes, very good condition, but not quite restored like this. So, this particular uh, van, um, is, is it all, it looks amazing to me. Is it all finished? Is it complete? They're never quite finished, but it's 95% there, yes. And, 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 and what hoops have you had to jump through to get here? Finding a per people to work on a marina van because they was only a workhorse back in their day. If it was an Escort car or Jaguar or something similar, there's people to restore those. But if trying to find someone with a quality work ethic to respray and paint and restore a marina van is quite a difficult thing. No one has the knowledge. So I'm sure you the biggest problem, I'm guessing, is, is finding the parts to um, I mean, what's it like in terms of panels, mechanicals? Difficult. Um, a panel for a, a wing for a marina van in the day would have probably been in the region of 30 pounds, 28 to 30 pounds. An Escort would have been 60 or 70 pounds. So therefore, less were made because there's more profit in pressing a, a Ford wing than there is a British Leyland wing. It's a shame, but it makes them rarer. So presumably, I mean, you're into the realm of repairing panels, you can't replace them. You try and find new old stock, but you have to hunt high and low. So what, they are still floating the bag. One of the biggest stocks I found was in Malta. Oh, right. Malta's right-hand drive. A lot of this stuff went over there. Um, but they're not too particular how they, what they drive about with, so they don't really repair too much. Right. And I did find a lot of new old stock out in Malta. Um, good friends out there now because we made a relationship because I kept having it shipped home. Okay, so you were saying this is a Series 1? This is a Mark 1. A yep. Mark 1, okay. Um, are, there, are there more of the later Marks around or are they all pretty much extinct? Pretty much extinct. Um, they do go to a later mark, which is the Atal version that like next door with the square headlights on it. Um, there is a Mark II version. The Mark ones, the Mark ones rolled on from what was the old Morris Thousand van or the Moggy Mine van, as they called them. Um, this was the next stage up. When they ceased the Morris Thousand, they produced the Marina. Is this a 1300 engine? This isn't here, yes, but I do have one with an 1100. Okay. Um, a Marina. This is a deluxe model. And to be deluxe, this had chrome bumpers. Get you! Yeah! That's posh. Whereas non-deluxe had steel. Right. And another sign was that the inside door cards would just be cardboard on a non-deluxe, whereas a deluxe has padding in it. So, there's your two features. <laughs> Sounds like luxury to me. Yes. Presumably heated seats, climate That's control, it, that's, that's it. Air aircon, sunroof. Aircon, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, you've got a whole collection of other ones. Yes. Is this, is this the best one? This is the one I've nut and bolt restored, yes. Okay. And with the others, is your plan to go to this stand with any of them? No, the, the ones I have remaining are very good examples and I'll just try and enhance them yeah. to a good state. Okay. Um, you can't restore these for, it's the cost of restoring this, it's still the cost of restoring a prestigious car that's worth more. Having said that, classic commercials are becoming really sought after and very popular now, presumably that means the values are going up, but it still doesn't make sense economically to restore them to this standard. The, the restoration price, if the wife isn't looking, is probably £20,000 for this to get it to this standard. And that's working and trying to source parts. Why would it be worth it when it's finished though? Because, because I'm not £20,000, but you... you... That was only £2,500 brand new, so <laughs> who knows, you know? But, but time will bring it on, won't it? And the value of money diminishes, so 
Tom will bring it on. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing a row of 12 absolutely mint, fully restored marinas in due course. When you're ready, come and have a look. But I might have to wait a little while for that one. Yeah, they're not too long. We're nearly there. All right, well, it was really good to talk to you, and it's an amazing example. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, thank you very much. Right.